Hi everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. I'm Suzanne and today I'm going to be doing a uh, wearable uh, natural sort of pinky toned eye look using my brand new Shinaxo palette. This one here from BH Cosmetics. This is the new one, the Remix. And it's, a, it's an incredible palette with uh, 18 shadows uh, with the warmer pinky tones on this side and these are the tones that I use, obviously. And um, the more neutral tones on the other side, which, well, which, which I also used uh, the transition shades on this side as well. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So I'm filming early-ish in the morning, so the lighting, the sun is going in and out of the clouds, so I think we're gonna have some uneven lighting going on during the, the video, but that's okay. As long as you can still see me, that's all that matters. Okay, so let's get started with the foundation. Uh, today I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, which is the normal to oily. And I'm gonna be using the lighter shade that I have. I've got two shades. Uh, but I'm going to try the lighter shade today, which is number 112. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush number 123 to put it on. But first I'm going to dot it over my skin. Oh, and if you hear any uh, crunching noises throughout this tutorial when I'm talking, that's my dogs. I've decided to try to do a video while the dogs are in the house, so they're actually all in the room with me. And one of them, right now, Ditto, is chewing on a bone. So if you hear some little crunchy noises, that's what that is. Okay, so the foundation is done. And I'm going to move on to my concealer now. And as usual, I'm going to use my uh, Shadow Sense Candlelight shade, which is a, a cream eye shadow, and I use it to cancel out the dark circles that I have under my eyes because it's a peachy tone, and the peachy tone cancels out the sort of bluey undertone that I have going on under my eyes. Last but not least, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape just to highlight. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Oh, shit. Okay, so now to set the under eyes, and to do that, I'm just using my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Translucent, and I just pat this on under my eyes if I can find my brush. Where's my brush? Here it is, with this brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. Doesn't say what kind, but it works very well for just getting into this small area here. Okay, and to powder the rest of my face, uh, I'm going to use my Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. And this is transparent shade 001. And this is uh, good for all over the face. I mostly just use it in the areas where I get oily, in my T-zone area. And 
Okay, so now to move on to my brows because I really can't do my eyes until my brows are done. I find the brows provide a, a frame for the eye look and if I don't do my brows first then my eye look is uh, even more wonky than it usually is. So let's get into the brows. I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Pomade. It's the Brow Stylist in Deep Brunette. That's what it looks like and I just dip this little brush into that and I have to draw my brows on. Some, sometime I'll be doing a brow video so that uh, for people with brow shapes like mine, um, it might help. Uh, if you already have a pretty thick brow or a good brow shape, you don't have to worry about drawing it on the way I do, but because my brows are over plucked and they're in this, <laughs> this arch, I need to draw underneath to straighten out the arch to reduce the arch and I like to try and extend the arch out a little further because I feel that the arch is a little bit too soon I'd like the arch to be a little bit later like that on me um, and I also like to pull it in a little bit further into the middle of my face you know not to create a unibrow or anything but um, I just feel it's more flattering to have a slightly longer piece here and then pull this out here like that. Whoops. So anyway, here we go before, before this dries and is not usable. You know, what do you have? Hold on, it looks like he has like a sock or underwear. What do you got there, Ditto? Ditto? What are you doing? That's my underwear. Okay, so here's the brow shape, the basic shape. I'll be going in and filling it in a little bit more and putting some brow gel on it. But you can see the difference it makes to the whole face to have a brow like that versus this brow. And having a brow, I think having a thicker, more um, structured brow actually helps to um, make the uh, face look younger. I think I look younger with uh, thicker brows, so that's why I like to fill mine in. Um, because I'm from the generation that overplucked their brows for probably about 20 years, and uh, those hairs, they're not coming back. Now I can get started on my eyes, and today I'm planning to use the Shinaxo palette from BH Cosmetics, the Remix. And this is a beautiful palette. I just just got it in my BH haul and it's got two sides. So there's the very colorful side with purples and, and sort of deep maroon tones. And then there's this side, which is uh, more earthy tones. So to start, I'm gonna start with the other side of the palette, which has some of these neutrals. And I'm gonna start with this uh, sort of skin tone shade called Clarity. And I'm just gonna wipe that sort of brush that over the, the whole lid just to kind of, just to set the uh, the primer, even though I did set it already with some of that e.l.f. powder. I'm just gonna kind of go over it again with this powder. And then I'm gonna go in for a transition shade with Buttercup, which is also on the other side of the palette. And just use my blending brush, and I'm just gonna sweep that into the transition area. So just sort of where my crease is and above, close to the brow bone. So now I'm gonna to switch to the other side of the palette. And I'm going to go in with this color, Festy, using the same brush. Okay, and now I'm going to go in and we'll be using a slightly more tighter tapered brush. This is BH brush number five and it's 
a slightly more tapered blending brush, which is great for the crease. And I'm going to go in with um, this color here, the Stalker. And I'm just going to pop that into the outer V here. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. whatever's left on your brush just sort of pull it pull it further into the crease and a little bit below that the other two colors that you put on there already and then to deepen out the outer crease I think I'm gonna go in with Vampette which is a slightly darker darker maroon color that one right there just go in with the same brush Actually, I'm going to go in with this brush, which is sort of a thinner, tighter, more precision brush that I like to use for packing on color. And I'm just going to place the color where I want it, in the outer V. Just to add some depth. And this palette does have some pretty uh, shimmery shades. There's this one here called Holy Grail that I think I will use. Right here. We go right there, that one here. Sort of a linen, I call it sort of a linen shade, shimmer shade. It's just a neutral, shiny shade. It's very pretty. Okay, so I've put my lashes and liner on off camera and now um, now it's time to finish the rest of my face. So let's see, what do I have here? What am I going to do first? Okay, let's do contour first. I'm going to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to use this uh, cool tone shade right here to contour my face. And I'll use this little handy dandy brush to do that. going to use my Becca highlighter in Moonstone and grab my Real Techniques highlighter brush. I don't know if it's a highlighter brush. It's a contour brush, but I like to use it as a highlighter brush. For blush, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette, and I'm going to pick a color from here. What do we have going on here? I think I'm just going to go with a neutral color like this one. Maybe I'll mix these two here. Moving on to the lips, and I think because I've got sort of a pinky uh, warm tone going on, I'm going to use one of my lash, maybe two lash scents, lip scents, colors. Um, I'm going to start off with Sassy Z, and then I think I'm going to top it with Bombshells.
going to put the glossy gloss on and I believe you need to put the glossy gloss on even if you're going to use the matte gloss because the glossy gloss uh, seals the color in or it sets the color and then you can put the matte over top. Correct me if I'm wrong though, I could be wrong. So I think I've got everything on now. One thing I always seem to forget to do in my videos is to set my makeup with a setting spray. And uh, I always do it, I just always forget to include that in the, uh, in the video. So what I normally do is I use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray Set Makeup Extended Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And this is the oil free. I think they're all oil free. And spraying this over top of your makeup uh, helps to sort of de cakeify the uh, all the powders. It sets the powders, um, it kind of melts them all together and helps them last throughout the day and they look less cakey. One of the problems I have, and I hope that doesn't happen today, is that I, I'll spray it before my mascara is dry and then I end up with mascara all over my face. So I usually try and spray it before I do my mascara, but I forgot today, so here goes. And you can spray this more than once if you have, if your makeup is pretty cakey and it will help sort of de cakeify the makeup. And the faster you dry it, the better. So that's why I'm waving my hands like a crazy person here and to get this dry. Okay, so this is the final look. I really appreciate you watching and sticking around for the whole video. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.